Hello. Uh, today I'm going to be demoing a clone of the Screddy Pink Flesh. Um, it's a uh, Big Muff style pedal. Um, I believe it's... Damn it, no, I can't remember. I think it's based on the Triangle Era Big Muff with a three-way switch to adjust the mids. Um, I've hand-tuned this for each transistor I've used. Um, I hand-tuned the capacitors and the transistors to sound as good as possible, just like Screddy does. Um, not sure if I'm quite as good, but this is definitely one of my favorite muffs I've ever used. Um, I keep this and an op-amp muff on my board. Uh, so, yeah, volume tone, sustain, three-way switch, uh, regular stock, scooped mids, flat mids, and then boosted mids. Uh, I'm using a Les Paul and an Ampeg Reverber Rocket 2. Here's my clean tone. the sustain um flat mids <laughs> mids uh, these mids are made um, to uh, like simulate David Gilmore's use of the color sound overdriver to make the muff uh, stand out in the mix better. Um, there, there is a difference that I'm sure you can hear right now, but when you're playing with a band, uh, even the subtle difference of just some little bit more mids makes such a big difference. Um, here's the flat mids versus the stock 
scooped mop mids. <laughs> Personally, I love the stock muff mids, but when you're playing them in a band, it's easy to get drowned out. Turn down the tone. This isn't the best amp to demo this pedal with. I wish I had a Plexi with a 4x12, but it's a pretty huge sound out of a amp that's weaker than a Princeton Reverb with an old crappy 10-inch speaker in it. Uh, anyway, there it is. Oh, Sparkle Black Finish, Killer, True Bypass. Metal Jags, um, killer. <laughs>